guys, TRP, and thanks for checking in with me. So I know a lot of us don't have a full hour to move, especially since we're not going to a gym or a studio. We've got distractions, whether it be work, kids, cooking, whatever we need to do. So I'm gonna do just a nice, easy 30 minute flow today with you guys. Feel free to add on if you've been practicing for a long time, making it a little more challenging. But if you're brand new or just need to get moving, this will be the perfect thing for you. Um, you don't need any props today except for a mat or a nice rug or a towel to lay on. And we're gonna get started laying on our backs. So come on down. Now I'm gonna start with my feet planted wide apart and my knees touching. This is a great pose to release any, relieve any tension that you might have in your low back. So as you walk your feet wide, let your knees drop together to touch. Make sure there's no straining on the knees here. And just rest a hand on your heart or your belly or both of your belly. And just take a three breaths in. And as you do this, you're gonna notice that lift as you inhale, your hands will rise. And as you exhale, the breath leaves, the hands drop. So again, inhaling. Exhaling. Beautiful, one more time you guys, inhale. Exhale. Now we're gonna try to keep that breath flowing freely through the next half hour. And if this becomes a challenge, maybe you can just breathe out through your mouth if that would help. But if not, we're gonna try to start breathing in and out through our nose now, using our ujjayi pranayama. When you're ready, we're gonna take those arms out wide like a T now. Separate the knees and gently, like windshield wipers on a car, start to windshield wiper them side to side. We're taking this slow. We don't wanna pull on our low back, but this is a wonderful rotation for our hips, an internal and external rotation, and a release into our low back. Now, with our arms out wide, we're gonna drop the knees to the right. Just let them splay open as you face to the left, feeling a nice twist all through your outer left side of your hip and your waistline here. Shoulders are soft, maybe that left ear is coming down to the floor. Take another breath in. Exhale. Inhale, draw your knees and gaze back to center. We'll drop the knees left. We're gonna gaze it to the right. And again, we're just gonna hold and melt in here. Relaxing that right shoulder away from the ear. Take another breath in. Beautiful, exhale. When you're ready, come back to center with your gaze and your knees, and then scoop your knees up into your chest. Give yourself a big squeeze and hop. Shoulders pull away. Tuck your chin to your chest, round your forehead up towards your knees. Feel that stretch for the shoulders, the upper back, maybe even the neck. Take one more breath in. Hold that roly poly shape. Breathe out. Release your head back down. Grab the back of your thighs with a little kick from your feet. We're gonna massage our spine back and forth. Now this doesn't feel good for everybody, so if you're like, no way, that's fine. We're gonna move on to all fours. So as you come up next time, cross your ankles, plant your palms. You might have to shimmy back onto your mat. Create that nice box. So that means the shoulders are over the wrists and the hips are over the knees. We'll move around a few cat and cows here. As you inhale, drop your belly, shoulders back, open up your heart. Beautiful. As you exhale, round, tuck your chin into your chest. Again, inhale, open your heart. Exhale, round, tuck the chin. Again, one more. Inhale, just like this. Good. Exhale, round, tuck the chin. Now we're going to drop the belly, but hold there for a moment from our cow pose. Keep your hips over your knees, so don't shift forward, but just walk your hands farther forward. We're starting to come into what we call puppy dog pose. We're going to start to drop our chest down, maybe our chin. We might not even get that far. That's okay. Pull your belly in. Pull your shoulders back into their sockets. Take another inhale. Good, now just sit your hips towards your heels. Let your head come down into child's pose. Rest for a moment. Now while you stay in child's pose, just remember that this is a practice. It's 30 minutes to move your body, to breathe, to get you 
zero on whatever you've been stuck in or doing all day. And if it gets to be too much, you come back to this pose to rest. So child's pose is always here for us. And again, I won't know if you drop into it, so take as many as you'd like. When you're ready, we're gonna shift back onto that all fours now. And this time we'll walk our hands a little further in front of us. So we're not quite in a box pose. We can tuck our toes and stretch our chest back towards our thighs for our down dog. Now, feel free to start to bend one knee and press opposite heel down. We have a tendency in down dog to super lock out our arms and shrug our shoulders by our chest. Bend your elbows. Pull the shoulders back into the socket, and as you rotate the triceps, um, slide your chest back towards your thighs, and you're going to really feel those hamstrings. Pull your belly in and up so we're not dumping into the low back. Taking one more breath in here. Good. Exhaling. Now, when you're ready, rise to your toes. You're going to look forward, and then we're going to take these baby steps all the way up to the top of our mat. We'll keep a little space between our feet and then line your fingertips up with your toes. Bend your knees, lengthen your body halfway so you're trying to get that nice flat spine. And then as you exhale, fold, let your head drop heavy. We're going to try that again. Inhale, lengthen, squeeze your shoulder blades back. Crown of the head is reaching forward, tailbone behind you. Exhale, fold, let your tailbone reach to the ceiling. Last time, inhale, lift your belly off your thighs, exhale, fold in deep. Reach your arms all the way out, we're coming to stand, palms are going to press up above our head. Drop your right arm down, stretch your left arm over, just a nice easy side body stretch out here you guys. Inhale, reach it back out to center. Beautiful. Drop your left hand down. Stretch that right arm up and over. Inhale, back to center. Now squeeze your glutes. As you exhale, draw your elbows back towards your kidneys. Your gaze could go up to the ceiling if that feels okay. From here, reach behind you and clasp your hands or your shirt or a towel. Pull the knuckles back and down, but try to keep a bend to the elbows a little bit. And then as you exhale, bend in the knees and start to stretch those arms all the way up over your head. Your gaze is going to be heavy, so you're looking between your legs. Lift up halfway, pull your belly in. Keep those hands bound. Exhale, see if you can pull just a little bit deeper for me. One more breath in here. Softly let go of your hands, release your fingers back in line with your toes. We're going to take that halfway lift again. Inhale. Good, as we exhale, fold, let our head drop heavy. We're coming to stand again. Reach those arms all the way out. And let your palms press above your head. Drop your right arm down, stretching that left arm up and over. Inhale, back to center, using that breath to move. Exhale, reaching to the left. Inhale, back to center. We're going to go those elbows to those kidneys again. Squeeze, open up our heart and our chest. Reach behind us, Balahasta. Grab your opposite hand, um, thumb, put it on top as you interlace your fingers, opening your heart. Beautiful. Exhale, bend your knees, stretch your arms up over your head. Keep your hands bound. Bend your left knee and gaze to the right. So it's weird. Bend the left knee, gaze to the right. Pull your belly in and then shift your weight into that right foot, getting that big opening. Take another inhale. Good. Exhale. We're going to do the same thing opposite side. Bend your right knee. Gaze to the left. Now shift your weight into that left foot, getting that opening. Take another inhale. Exhale. Beautiful. Come back to center. Inhale. Softly release those hands as we exhale. We're back to that halfway lift and lengthen as we inhale. Good. Folding down as we exhale. Last time, root to rise, reach all the way out and up, press the palms, let that right arm drop, left arm stretches over. Inhale, back to center, you got this. Exhale, left arm down, right arm up and over. Inhale, back to center, squeeze your glutes, big exhale, elbows to kidneys, heart opens. Nice little back in there. Reach behind you. Draw those knuckles down. Maybe a little bit more this time. 
You got it. Bend those knees, stretch it up and overhead for me. Pull your belly and try to lift that tailbone up to the ceiling more. Good, take one more breath in here. Exhale, softly release your hands. Now take another halfway lift as you inhale. Beautiful, exhale, fold. We're coming all the way up to stand this time, inhaling. Our palms are gonna press over our head again, but this time as we exhale, we're gonna bend those knees swan dive. We're coming right back down to the floor. Again, finding that halfway lift and lengthen. Now plant the palms, fingertips in line with your toes. Lunge the right foot to the back of the mat. Keep your hips low, pull your belly in, lunge your left foot to meet your right. You're in plank pose. Now, if this is too much, you're simply setting your knees down. That is perfectly fine. Again, it's not a box pose, right? So we're not shifting back. We're holding that diagonal, tailbone tilts under, whether my knees are lifted or not. Press away from the mat, but absorb the shoulders into the body. Take one more breath in. I know, we're creating a little heat. We need it. All right, down dog. Shift your hips up and back as you exhale. Three breaths. Inhale here. Sink the heels as you exhale. Good. Keep sliding your chest back towards your thighs. Take another breath in. Exhale. One more time. Breathe in. Exhale. Rise to your toes. Look forward. Exhale. Step or float this time. Hop to the top of your mat. Find that halfway lift. Exhale, we fold all the way back out. Stand as tall as you can. Reach up at the top so that you can swan dive. Fold it right back down. Exhale. Take that halfway lift. Plant your palms. This time, lunge the left foot to the back of the mat. Keep the hips low. Followed by the right. We're back to that plank. Holding here. Now, this time, we're all going to drop our knees this first time. Shift forward, belly, and we're going to bend our elbows towards the back of the room. Hug the rib cage as we try to lower all the way down to our belly. Fingertips are going to stay in line with our breastbone. Hug your elbows together. Shoulders back and then peel your chest as you start to lift into your baby cobra. Try not to gaze up. We want to keep our neck long. So we're looking about no more than eight inches in front of us. Press through the tops of the feet, the knee, uh, press the tops of the feet into the floor, the kneecaps are lifting. Take one more breath in. Exhale, set it down. Now press up to all fours, tuck your toes, tuck your toes, and then back to that child's pose just for a moment. We're gonna open up the arches of those feet. Oh my, take another breath in. Good, stay for the exhale. Awesome, shift back to all fours. Exhale, downward dog, lift your hips up and back. Again, three breaths, inhale. Good, exhale. Really ground down through your index and thumb pad. Really try to press the weight evenly out from there. Take another breath in. Good, exhale. Last breath. Exhale. Okay, to your toes, back to the top of the mat, exhaling. We've got one more round of that warm-up, halfway lift. Good, exhale, fold. All the way back to stand. Now, everything we've been doing is the same. We're just adding on, fold it back down. So if you want to just hold your plank, take that halfway lift, lengthen. As we plant the palms, step your feet back. Option to hold your plank. Option to set your knees down and lower or shift forward, sinking elbows bend when we stop ourselves halfway. From here, pressing off the tops of the feet again, shoulders back, opening our chest. Maybe our thighs are lifted, maybe our thighs are down. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back for down dog. So that's a little more challenging. That is called a sun salutation A. So again, wherever you're at, take a deep breath in. Good, exhaling. Two more, breathe in. I'll let those legs get some space by pressing the heels down, but lifting the tailbone up. Last breath here, you're doing great, you guys. Exhaling, 
Now rise to your toes, look forward again. Exhale, coming to the top of your mat. Take your halfway lift. Good, exhale, fold. Now this time we're reaching our arms all the way up. Our palms will press above our head, but this time we're gonna seal them into prayer and heart center. So as we're standing tall, we're gonna take this right leg and we're gonna start to slide it behind us. Our toes are down. Now I wanna make sure my hips are squared. So if I kind of opened up to the side, square it back forth. Put it into your left knee. Start to lean forward and see if you can start to take that right leg high to the sky. If you're like, I don't think that's happening today, you're gonna to keep those right toes down on the mat. We're still stabilizing and working this left leg. If not, we're starting to move into our warrior three. Pull your belly and start to hinge at the hips as you press out through the right heel. My left knee stays bent, so I'm not locking it out. Take one more breath in. Good, as you exhale, lunge it to the back of the mat. So now I'm high on my back right heel. My left knee is bending. I'm gonna stay here, start to reach my arms up overhead, maybe walk my left foot out a little if I'm feeling kind of wobbly, and over to the left side of the mat. You should feel this wonderful stretch on the top of the right hip flexor. We're gonna stay one more breath. See, you can sink a little deeper, I know you can. Good, now as you exhale, we're gonna actually open up into warrior two. So now you're gonna notice I'm gonna spin my back heel down flat. I'm gonna widen my stance, I'm gonna make sure my left knee is right over my ankle. Now I'm gonna pull my shoulders up so that then I can soften them down. Now sink a little deeper. Now with our arms long, we have this tendency to kind of reach into the pose. Can you pull that your shoulders right back over your hips, but then sink deeper into the left knee? And that right hip flexor, I bet you is feeling this. Now from here, we're gonna flip our palms up to the sky. And as we inhale, reach our arms up, straighten our legs, gaze up, maybe your palms press. And then as you exhale, sink back into that deep warrior two. Now again, as we reach up tall, try not to lock your knees up. We keep a micro bend. And then as you exhale, sink a little deeper. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, stretch it up. Ooh, yummy stretch. Exhale, sink in deeper, holding it here. Now take your right hand and place it onto your belly. We're gonna pull our belly and sink deeper. Now lift your left arm up and back and keep sinking into the left knee. Try to press down through the edge of your right foot in that warrior two so the back ankle doesn't collapse. See if you could take one more extension. Beautiful. Coming back up, warrior two. Now let's get that front leg a little break. Straighten out your left leg again. We're not gonna lock the knee out. We're gonna keep that micro bend. Now let your right hand drop in one more time. Just stretch it straight behind you. Almost like I was gonna hold or pick up one of those scooters out of that back picture. Good, take one more breath in. Exhale. Now arms back wide, one more time, bend into that knee, warrior two. Holding here, we're getting those legs to work out. Now imagine your body is a windmill. We're gonna keep those arms wide, we're gonna drop the left hand down as we reach that right arm up as high as we can to the sky. Now sink deeper into that left knee and look at this nice line, this straight line we're creating on our right side body. Press your hips a little towards me. Open up the heart, take one more breath. Good, exhale. Come back up, warrior two. Now we're gonna exhale, windmill those hands down to the floor. We're gonna try to step back without scraping our left foot. Now, if we wanna hold plank, we can. If we wanna set our knees down, we can. Or we're gonna shift forward and lower that chaturanga again. Inhale, pulling our heart to really squeeze those shoulder blades back and down. Nice, you guys. Exhale, lift those hips up high, breathing out. You got this. Three more breaths in that down dog. Taking that inhale. Good. Taking that exhale. Good. Again, breathe in. You're doing great. We've got one more side, that left side, right side to do. All right, last breath in. Exhaling. When you're ready, we're gonna rise to our toes, look forward. As you exhale, we're coming back up to the top of our mat. Find that lift and lengthen. Exhale, we fold. Root to rise, reach all the way out now. Again, seal your hands to prayer at heart center. Pull the belly in. We're gonna slide the left toes back. Hands to hips to square our hips forward, tilt our pelvic floor down. Now, as we bend into the right knee, we might start to lean forward, letting our left foot lift. We might not ever come off the floor. As we pull our belly and try to square the hips down, press 
here too. Try not to lean too much with the chest, right? Stay stacked. Here we go. Reach it up, lengthen. Good. Exhale. Sink low. One more. Reach it up. Grow tall. Sink low. Hold your warrior two. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Turn your palms down. You're really strong through those arms. Now, left hand's going to come onto the belly. Just so we're pulling the belly and engaging. Reflip that right palm. Reach up and back. Reverse. Imagine you could hold up that nice ficus tree behind me or pretending you've got something to push away. Take one more breath in. Good. Exhale. Now, first, bring your arms back out wide. Then straighten without locking out again. Soft bend. Now, drop lightly the left hand and again, reach it back. Feel the stretch on the side of your right waistline. Take one more breath in. Good, exhale. Now, bend back into the knee. Imagine that windmill with the arms as we bring the right arm down, the left arm high. Lift your rib cage up, but then sink deeper into that right knee. Remember, use the edge of your left foot as an anchor to really open up your chest here. You're doing great. Take another breath in. Press your hips slightly forward towards me. Lean your shoulders back an inch. Yes. Last inhale. You got this. Exhale. Come back up for your two. Woo. All right, here we go. Windmill the hands to the floor. Square the feet. Now, try not to scrape your right foot as you step back to your plank. Holding here. Inhaling, shift forward however you want to lower down. Or just go straight back to down dog. Inhaling. Really squeeze those shoulder blades together. Let that heart pull through. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew, good. Breathe in. Sink those heels. Breathe out. Two more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath in. Exhale. Nice. Now you'll set your knees down. Make sure there's some space between your knees. Walk your hands back and then we're going to come to stand or kneel on the knees or the shins. So again, back bends, these heart openers give us energy to get through our day. So wherever you decide to do this, what time of day, it's just a nice and gentle back bend. Make sure your toes aren't touching, but your feet are actually stacked right behind your knees. Hands can be in fists, or they can be palms up or palms down, depending on your wrist flexibility. Now, tilt your pelvic floor down so it's a neutral. It's not some crazy overarching, just gentle. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Hug your elbows in. And as your hips stay stacked over the knees, don't let them shift back. Maybe you start to gaze up, opening up your chest, pulling those elbows together for your Ushanasana or camel pose. Take another breath, pull your belly in for me. Good, exhale. Now inhale, pull your belly back in and bring yourself up, releasing your hands. Draw your knees to touch. Now, if this isn't something you've done in a long time, I want you to put some space between your feet. Sit on a pillow or put a block there. But if not, we're going to sit down to the tops of the knees. So again, this is a challenging pose for a lot of us. So again, add something underneath your hips or on tops of your ankles if you need it. We're going to reach those arms up. And then as you exhale, you're going to take a twist. So left hand's going to come behind you. Right hand's going to grab that outer thigh. Sit up tall, pull your belly in, but shoulders drop as you start to gaze over your back shoulder here. Taking a breath in. Go a deep breath out. Try not to lean back, belly in, lengthen the spine. Go a big twist. One more, inhale. Exhale. Release slowly, come back to center, reach your arms up. Exhale, twist open to the right. Right hand behind you, left hand outside that thigh. Sit up really tall, pull your belly in. Try not to lean back as you gaze over your back shoulder. Awesome, inhale here. Exhale. Two more breaths. We're finishing with that twist, breathe in. Good, breathing out. One more. Exhale. Slowly release, coming back to center. We're just going to sit off to one side, swing our legs through and around. 
And then we'll stretch those legs out in front of us. Move the flesh from out of the way so that you're actually on your sits bones so that you could kind of wiggle on. Now put a bend to your knees, big or small. Reach your arms up, try not to arch, pull your belly and the ribs in. And then as you exhale, hand, you should just let your hands drop beside you. Pull your shoulders back, open your heart. And then as you exhale, start to hinge and fold, tucking your chin to your chest when you've gone as far as you can. Now you might need a little more, you might be able to wiggle a little bit back and fold a little deeper, but keep the shoulders away from your ears here. Keep your belly pulled in so you're lifting, lengthening on top of the thighs instead of collapsing onto the thighs. We're taking two more breaths in here. Paschimottanasana, east meets west pose, very deep forward fold. One more breath. Beautiful. Exhale. Pull your belly in to come on up out of this. Go slow. And then when you're ready, scoot your hips towards your heels, bend your knees, and then roll down slow. Pull your belly in so that you're using a little bit of that core. And then once you come to your back, hug your knees into your chest, rock a little softly side to side, massaging your low back out, but also helping and aiding in our digestion as we're pressing our thighs into our bellies here, our bellies, like we had more than one, just the one belly, but on each side. Okay, here we go, take one more breath in. Exhale, we'll stop the movement. Now, if this becomes too heavy for you or your legs are just shaking like crazy, scoot up against the wall or put a pillow or a block under your hips. We're gonna reach our legs to the sky. So this is called waterfall pose. If your legs are against the wall, it's restorative, legs up. It's very important for our body, but we're gonna add our arms and come into matchstick pose. So our gaze is straight up, and this is similar to shoulder stand or plow pose, but we're not re lifting our hips up but we're allowing the full benefit of the blood flow to rush to the head, to the heart. Again, if your legs are like, oh my goodness, I totally understand, you could bend the knees. If the arms are getting too much, you can bring them down. We're gonna try to hold here for about another 30 seconds. And really, the longer you stay, the better. Also, after a major workout, if you do this for 15 to 20 minutes immediately right after the workout, it will help reduce the lactic acid that your muscles admit and keep you from getting quite as sore. So this pose is really truly beneficial. Take one more breath in. And then when you exhale, release one more time, hug those knees to the chest, just letting that go. And then from here, we're just gonna slowly release our legs out. Now we're gonna take a rest. So we've done all the hard work, we've done the twists, the back bends. Now we get that easy resting pose, and we call it Shavasana in yoga. Now this can be kind of challenging if this is something you're new to. So if laying down flat and closing your eyes doesn't feel good, maybe you roll onto your left side, holding on fetal pose. Maybe you roll onto your belly, or maybe even seated would be more comfortable. But I want you to gently close your eyes down. And I want you to just soften. I want you to start at the top of your head. Just think about that breath as it flows through you, relaxing all the muscles in the face, the jaw, the eyelids, softening the throat and your shoulders, moving into your lungs, your chest, and into your belly. As you breathe, relaxing your hips, your pelvic floor. Just letting that relaxation trickle down your thighs, your shins, your calves, into your feet, into your toes. So that from top to bottom, you are relaxed. You are at ease. And you are at rest. Now remember your time, your practice. You can stay and rest a little longer for as long as you would like. We're going to just go slow. Gently rock your head a little softly side to side. Just a nice 
Release for the neck. And then wiggle your fingers, your toes, wrists and ankles, maybe taking that full body, stretch it out. Taking another breath in. Beautiful. As you exhale, hug your knees into your chest, rounding up maybe into that little ball or just staying there, taking one inhale. Good. Exhaling. And when you're ready, we're just going to make our way up to seated. So whatever feels good to you. And as you find your way back, keeping those eyes softly closed down, we'll come to sit up nice and tall. Let your palms be open on your thighs or your knees as a wonderful sign of gratitude. We just took this practice, we opened ourselves up, and we are grateful for it. Sitting up tall, we'll take our last breath in together, reaching your arms all the way out and up as you inhale. Exhale, releasing hands to rest at heart center. I just want to thank you guys so much for taking this time out to move with me, but more importantly, how it is so good for your body and your mind. Um, hope, you, hope to see you again soon. Um, we'll take those palms to our third eye center, just honoring each other in this time we had. Namaste. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I'm Tara P. Check me out on Instagram or on YouTube, and I'll be coming out again with another 30-minute um, workout. Um, so look forward to that. Have a great weekend.